Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world watching today. Hey, thanks a lot for tuning into the channel. Hey, listen, uh, on this uh, channel, I try to give people a lot of information uh, that they may or may not have thought about when they're thinking about buying real estate in Belize, moving to Belize, retiring to Amherst Key, things like that. So you're going to see that some of my videos deal with particular listings or neighborhoods on Amherst Key. Others deal with the lifestyle, restaurants, things to do, you know, renting a golf cart, things like that. Uh, but one of the big questions uh, I think everybody should be researching or asking themselves is, what is the current state of my physical health and where do I see that going in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years as it relates to where I call home or where in the world I'm going to be spending a lot of time, right? So for instance, if you're in Canada right now or in Europe, or United States, you're used to the medical system, you pretty much know what things cost. You might have an insurance plan or some sort of government provided health care. Uh, but once you start looking at moving abroad, uh, things change drastically. Uh, for example, as an American who spends a lot of time in France, I'm required to have international health insurance that covers me here in France. If I were to move to another country like Thailand or you know, wherever, Australia, the laws are different. Uh, one of the things that I really like about Belize is that number one, it has a very good system of health care. Uh, and also, you are able to get those services at a very low cost, at least in my opinion, uh, even if you're paying out of pocket, but you are also able to get health care plans in Belize that for most of us are a lot less than we're paying in our home country. Now, I saw this come across my feed the other day regarding medical expenses in the United States. And uh, I know this to be a fact. Um, we had very high medical bills in the past uh, for Steph's health when we were living in the United States. And uh, it is uh, one of the leading causes of bankruptcy in the United States. Um, you can go in the hospital for you know, a kidney stone and literally that could bankrupt most people today if they don't have proper coverage. A couple nights in the hospital, even a minor surgery, um, you know, one bout of severe you know, pneumonia, can wipe a person's entire finances out, can wipe out years worth of savings, of scraping by, of you know, putting money away. So this is a serious concern. Now, what I didn't know is the second part of this slide uh, where it estimates the average couple 65 and older in 2019, that's when we had these numbers, is projected to need around 285,000 in after-tax dollars to pay for medical bills in their life. Um, a lot of people don't even have 285000 set aside for retirement, let alone have that extra cash after taxes to, to pay for the medical emergencies or care uh, that may, may come up. And that most likely will come up, right? Let's face it. We're all going to be facing some sort of medical health as we grow older. And so let me kind of just share with you a few things. Uh, and I've, I've gone into a really deep dive before about the medical care in Belize, including our own experience. Uh, Steph had emergency surgery. Uh, she's been hospitalized twice in Belize City. She had excellent care both times. Um, so good friends of mine also had surgery, brain surgery. The, the, I, I know, I know of, a, of a horrible accident that happened on Amherst Key where a tourist lost his leg. Uh, they saved his life, got him back to the hospital. He's living, he's fine today. Um, anyway, let me just kind of share with you some other developments, especially for those of you looking at Ambergris Key, but also some things to consider when you're looking at the mainland. So first of all, let's tackle Ambergris Key. I'm going to do a share screen with you, and I'm going to show you a few websites. Uh, the first one is an announcement that came out just a few days ago, so uh, September 24th. Now, there has been talk of a hospital in San Pedro or being built on San Pedro for many, many years now. This talk is not new. Uh, the government of Belize recognizes that Ambergris Key is a major tourist destination and it has a sizable population and that it makes sense to try to build something larger than a simple polyclinic. Now that has been done. We have the Belize Medical Associates Satellite Office, so we're going to talk show you that in a minute. Um, but this is big news for the island, all right, that for the first time, the San Pedro town is going to get an actual 
Health Center, an actual hospital. If you want to go ahead and read the article, it's in the San Pedro Sun. So just type in San Pedro Sun hospital uh, announcement, and this article will come up. Uh, but it talks about where the funds are coming from, uh, how big the facility is going to be, you know, things like that, you know, why they're pushing for this. And, you know, for those of us who aren't familiar with life outside the United States or life on smaller islands like this, we might ask yourself, well, why in the world wasn't a hospital built, you know, 10, 20 years ago? Simple. Comes down to the money and the need and the population. You know, when I moved to Belize in 2003, moved to the island full time in 2005, 2006, you know, you're talking about maybe 17, 18,000 people. Um, most of those, uh, when they have something major that they need taken care of medically, they would simply go to Belize City, which is a 15 minute shuttle flight away on Tropic Air. All right. So very easy to get to. Um, people say, oh, what happens in a true emergency, like a heart attack or a stroke? Same thing. You got to make it to the hospital. But to expect a government is that is as small as Belize with a general population in Belize, as small as it is, under 100, 400,000, to go out to a what is kind of like a remote island, 40 miles from Belize City, and not only have the funds to build a hospital, all right, that's the one thing. You can always try to find the funds to build it. But then what about the funds to maintain it? I mean, hospitals are like yachts, right? You can Maybe you can afford the yacht, but how are you going to maintain it every year? So the hospital takes equipment, maintenance, lights, air conditioning, uh, equipment that needs to be upgraded, you know, constantly. It takes staffing, right? So you actually need to hire doctors, hire nurses. Uh, and there has to be a need. At the end of the day, you know, you have this big infrastructure. And, you know, if there's not a big need, if there's not people walking in the door needing your services on a, on a regular basis, then why is it there? Well, now there's it's getting to the point where with so many tourists coming to the island and with some of the larger hotel chains attracting some business, you know, so you have like the Marriott's, the Hilton's, you know, other things going on, um, you know, we're starting to attract a lot more attention, a lot more money is coming to the island, which means a lot more revenue uh, for the Belize government. Uh, so a lot of the stamp taxes that we pay as real estate buyers and investors, you know, that, that money does end up going to the government to provide services uh, for the mainland and for the islands in terms of infrastructure and roads and, you know, these types of things. Um, but also, you know, a portion of that money is going to provide for better services, you know, such as this, ongoing expenses, you know, such as this, road care, hospitals, all that kind of good stuff. So this announcement um, I think is pretty exciting uh, for Ambergris Key. Like I said, it's been in the works. Being, it's being talked about for a long time. But here's the thing, guys. When something has been talked about long enough, eventually it does really happen. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised at the comments, um, you know, on some of the social media uh, platforms about the new hospital being built, you know, a lot of laughing faces, a lot of naysayers, never going to happen. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but when things have been talked about long enough, especially when they're big ticket items, a lot has to go into, you know, getting things ready before they can actually break ground and sustain a project like this. And this, this goes for any big announcement that's being talked about in Belize, right? It takes a while for it to come to fruition, but the, the major things that are being talked about, eventually they do take place because they do benefit Ambergris Key and the people living on it. All right, so for right now, let me just show you a couple other things. Uh, do, 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 Where did it go? Hang on a second. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. There we go. All right, so that's the article about the, oh, anyways, here it is, 2015, you know, so they wanted to raise money. Here it is, 2022. All right, seven years later, but look look at this. The, the funds are secured. It's going to cost more than they thought, um, but it's going to be a beautiful hospital. So on Ambergris Key, um, right now, one of the top medical facilities is at the Grand Carib a resort, which is where Steph and I stayed in one of their beautiful penthouses here just uh, a few weeks ago. Um, this has excellent care, x-ray, ultrasound services, pharmacy, lab services, um, you know, just a, a full-fledged urgent care facility. You can see pictures of it here. So if you have any issues at all, you know, make it there. Uh, if you if you have to go in, make it there. Um, they'll take good care of you. Um, but the main hospitals, 
uh, that expats would most likely use are called Belize Medical Associates and Belize Healthcare Partners. Now, Belize Medical Associates and Belize Healthcare Partners, they're both located in Belize City. Now, fortunately, both hospitals are located very close to Tropic and Maya Air, to the airstrip in Belize City. So if you have any issues at all, you get on the phone or you drive to Tropic Air, Maya Air, and they will you know, purposely you know, hire a, a pilot immediately, get you over to Belize City, and there you can have any sort of you know, major, major surgery you need. Um, like I said, Steph had really good results working with the doctors and surgeons at these hospitals, um, took really good care of her, took really good care of friends of mine, um, and um, it's just, um, yeah, I, I can't say enough good about them. Uh, the other thing is health care. All right. So when you're looking at medical facilities, the question comes up, well, how am I going to pay for this? A lot of locals just self-insure. They don't have self-insurance. They just pay out of pocket. So they might go to the local doctors, which don't charge them much, or they might go to um, KHMH Hospital in Belize City. They won't go necessarily to the private hospitals. They'll go to the government-run hospitals. Uh, but our FNG life insurance, I think it's only available to um, residents of Belize. So if you're just vacationing in Belize or spending a month or two in Belize, I don't think you're going to be able to get this. But if you become a resident of Belize, maybe you get your, your residency, your stamp and your passport. This might even apply to uh, those on the QRP program. Uh, you might have to uh, you know, ask Josie or email or call RFNG about this. But, um, you know, Steph and I had this when we were living in Belize full time. Now we've upgraded uh, because, you know, we, we live internationally more and we travel a lot more. So we have a global policy on us. Uh, but RFNG, um, th it is a really, really good policy. And, you know, we've used it when Steph had her gallbladder surgery. Um, you know, I think I, don't, I forgot what the bill came to, but they paid. They paid. They had the 80-20 payment. It wasn't that expensive to begin with. They got uh, dental riders, vision riders, um, total and permanent disability. All right. They even have life insurance. So I think the life insurance you could probably get cheaper in your home country, depending if they'll cover you living in Belize. Um, but um, but go that route there. So yeah, good things to think about as you are considering a move to Belize regarding healthcare. So good healthcare. It's even getting better. And one more thing I want to show you. Um, for those of you who do happen to live more inter internationally, like we do, um, Cigna is the company that Steph and I use. Let me see. Oh, no. That's comparing different ones. There we go. Cigna official site. Let me just show you this real quick because this is helpful. So each person's circumstances uh, tend to be a little different. Right. So um, whether you're, you're from Canada, Europe, United States, you might have some coverage in your home country. Um, but when you're looking at spending and spending extended time in Belize, you may think, OK, I want a policy, let's say, to cover me in in United States for a few weeks a year. Then in Belize for five or six months a year that I might want to travel to. You know, I might want to go on a sailing trip around New Zealand, and Australia for three or four months. I want to be covered wherever I go in the world. And so for that, what I highly recommend is Cigna, which is right here. Go to Cigna.com. And Steph and I both have a full uh, coverage for ourselves on here. And uh, very, very good. We've been using these guys now for eight years. Um, never had a problem with them at all. And they have just really good support system too, right? You got questions. For example, you're in the States, you're on medical care. You want something to uh, Medicare. You want something to offset that or supplement that. Dental you know, all this kind of good stuff. So check them out, Cigna.com, RFNG. And with, especially with RFNG, just to give you guys a little heads up, um, if you guys are doing a lot of research and like, you know, many of my viewers are, and you are trying to gather information from, for example, builders, you, you want to email a builder, you want to engage a builder, hey, how much is this going to cost? How much square foot? All this kind of stuff. The builders are so busy right now in Belize, they're probably not going to answer your email. They're not being disrespectful. They just don't have the, the bandwidth to be just answering people's questions, right? They have, they're, they're actually doing work. Um, but if you come down to the island and go to a job site and you'll meet a builder, he'll spend a few minutes with you and give you some tips and tricks. Um, same thing with RFNG, right? You, after this video, if they get a hundred emails asking a hundred questions about life insurance or Belize or healthcare in Belize, they're not going to answer any of them. But just sort of like 
put this kind of information in the back of your mind. And then on your next trip to Belize, when you're on the island, go to the RFNG office, pop and say, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm Dennis Kay, looking to move to Belize. Um, here's my age. Do you guys offer health care uh, coverage? And you know what, what would I be looking at? I'm very serious. So at that point, when you're serious about pulling the trigger, um, then you'll find people more apt to start to work with you. Uh, but if you're just information gathering, just a heads up, guys, you're going to have a hard time getting replies from anybody in Belize. Um, imagine the island of Ambergris Key, very small, just a handful of top builders, and they're getting requests for information from all over the world, just hammered. Um, just like I am, I, I try to keep up with my replies, but even I get behind. I get requests, you know, dozens of requests every day regarding general real estate questions. And that's why I try to put out as much information on my channel as possible, uh, just so I can have a platform to give as much information and push as much information as possible. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. If you would subscribe, helps me get the message out to more and more people. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, hey, have a great day. Stay healthy. Hope to see you in Lee soon.